Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Kansas City. Yes, Kansas City, Kansas. Outside, Q39, Q39, guys, where today we are going to be doing a big barbecue challenge. Yes, a big barbecue challenge. This sounds super awesome, super, super delicious. I'm very excited. This is definitely one of the best and most well-known barbecues in the area. Although, interesting, contrary to uh, like popular, you know, low and slow method, they actually kind of monopolize or focus on a hot and fast method. So it should be pretty cool. I'm gonna hop on in a little bit. So basically, guys, I believe this is called the Q or competition. I think called the competition platter, basically. Um, so it's a giant platter made to serve like I think some like six people. It features all their meats. We're talking brisket, pulled pork. Uh, burnt ends, ribs, of course, Kansas is very well known for burnt ends and ribs. Uh, plus, I think we've got a side of coleslaw. Um, I think there's another side I think you're gonna pick. Uh, but anyway, I'll give you the exact details. But a big, huge, giant barbecue challenge in the barbecue capital, or one of the barbecue capitals of America, Q39, guys. So I'm super excited to try all this. Like I said, actually, I heard this is the best barbecue. So let's dive on in, let's eat some food, let's have some fun, I'll give you some details, let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with the platter. It looks absolutely delicious. So we do have two full sausages. It looks awesome. It is a chipotle sausage. We have the half chicken. We have a big thing of their burnt ends. Everybody, these look so delicious, tender, soft, and juicy. I have a big pile of their pulled pork with their sauce on it. A full rack of ribs, guys. These look just delicious. I love, love, love ribs. That's what Kansas City is known for. Then have some of their awesome looking brisket. I have their uh, coleslaw and uh, I have, or apple coleslaw I should say, so it's made with Granny Smith apples. And their famous cucumber salad, yes, believe it or not, a cucumber salad. Uh, some pickles, onions, jalapenos. I do have all their sauces here as well. So that's pretty much about that. That's, uh, I think, the main details here. But at that, we might as well get started. I'll start with this cucumber salad. I think that's a good place to start. So how about we get started? Oh, I'm ready. Ready to rock? Let's do this. All right. How do we save a count of three, two, one? Let us eat. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm. Wow. All right. So acidic, nice and vinegary. I love that. I could eat countless of those. Mm. So crisp and light. Try this barbecue chicken. Mm. Tender. Really nice flavor on it. I do. Guys, super, super good. That's fine. I'm good with that. Um, yeah, guys, super, super good. The chicken. It's finished with that sauce on it. Very good. Um, really nice smoke to it. They finish it on live oak, so it gets that real nice bite. Hey everyone, welcome visitor. Today we're here at Q39. Yes, the famous Q39, one of the most well-known barbecue joints in Kansas City here taking on their giant competition platter challenge. So pretty straightforward for this challenge. Uh, we we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete it. And I believe the value is approximately about 150 bucks. If we were to complete it, we're gonna get the meal for free, which was pretty cool. Um, and if not, well, we were paying, that's for sure. That being said, guys, this was super delicious. And I was so excited to be able to come by and try this famous Kansas City barbecue place. Um, I talked to many, many, many locals and 
many, many, many locals said this was their favorite barbecue place. Um, they're known for their burnt ends, they're known for their ribs, um, which are just traditional classics all around Kansas City. And here they're also really well known for not going with a low and slow method, but cooking on higher heats and higher temperatures which to a lot of the barbecue world sounds, you know, just like crazy. But I got to say, I mean, everything was tasting really, really good. That was a delicious bite. Nice and smoky. I love the smoke on it. And those sauces they got are good. Try this next one. Now it's a spicy, very, very good. Um, I'll probably get in these ribs next. Guys, these look awesome, just look at that. Perfect smoke ring. Mm, holy crap. Woo. Wow, look at just fall off the bone. So Q39 is more what they call the competition style barbecue. Um, Kansas City barbecue has a lot of places which are the competition style, then a lot of places which are not the competition style. I find the competition style generally has a little bit more smoke to it, um, whereas some of the non-competition style, at least what I experienced, did not. By finishing it on a live oak, wow. And I thought this was just smoked perfectly. It had a really nice smoky flavor. The textures were delicious, but by no means was anything overpowering. It was also balanced. It was perfectly well done and just, oh my gosh. So sweet and sticky. For the sides, I went with the uh, coleslaw and the cucumber salad as per their recommendation. Now, I thought it was really interesting that they recommended this cucumber salad, but man, they were absolutely right. The coleslaw and the cucumber salad were so crisp, so fresh. They had such nice flavors in them. They weren't like a heavily acidic or, or a heavy coleslaw or a heavy cucumber salad. It was also light, vinegary, fresh. It was almost refreshing, honestly, and went so well with the barbecue i like this a lot guys beautiful rib like i said just falls off the bone great and tender this place also cooks yes cooks hundreds hundreds and hundreds of briskets a day like it's actually insane the amount of volume they put in here and this was a full restaurant i may try at a reservation um but man this was a like a, there was a two hour wait at the door if you didn't have one it was crazy i'm gonna try some of this brisket while i'm at it the step, nice and tender. So one thing I found really interesting about Kansas City barbecue in general and here at Q is, so in a brisket, there's two parts. There's the point and the flat. The point is what they call the fatty portion. They basically take the whole point and just re, well, I'll say use it for the means of burnt ends. So it's not like they're getting a lean, a fatty, and a burnt end. They're getting a lean and a burnt end. It has a good smoke flavor to it. Man, look, it's just beautiful. Mm. Great bite. I'm trying the sauce because mm. that was a chipotle. Which I thought was super cool because obviously that's very different than like a Texas style or a lot of other regions of uh, barbecue. The cool thing with this brisket, which makes them different from everywhere else, is they cook their briskets in like seven hours. They don't believe in low and slow, they believe in high and hot. And I gotta say, it's a good product. It holds its texture. Yet it's, you know, has its, um, really, it's great, great flavor, sauce, and good smoke on it. 
So while I could go on for days and days about barbecue and how awesome this was, I'm just gonna let you get to the rest of the video. That Granny Smith, cold, uh, the apple coleslaw. Mm. Wow. I really like the apples in it. There's some celery seed in there. Mm. Very good. So let me know your favorite Kansas City barbecue joint down below, and that let's see what happens. I know these burnt ends are gonna be out of this world. It's what they're really well known for. So I'm gonna put chicken in this pulled pork, baby. Mm. Nice light smoke. And there's seasoning and rub on there. A little bit of paprika. Very good. Try some of this sausage. So this is a house-made chipotle sausage. Oh my gosh, wow. Talk about rich. Mm. Mm. Wow guys, this is good sausage. Mm. Such a great cured flavor. Not calorie free, but amazing. All right, buddy. And then there were two. And we're about coming on 14 minutes in. Burnt ends and ribs. I'll try a burnt end just because I haven't tried them yet. Oh yeah, whoa, amazing, guys, wow. So tender and juicy, smoky. Ooh. The way they grill them, they like, Smoke them, then they re put them on that grill. It tastes like grilled beef. Like it almost looks like it's like a little bit of steak aspect to it. But a quality steak. Like I'm talking like a fatty ribeye. So good. And those ribs. Still so, so, so good. So smoky and great. Last couple ribs. Guys, I'm, so I'm sorry these are coming to an end. They're really, really good. Man. I'm sure that fatty juice. Oh man. That is good. I'm gonna talk more about the flavor of these ribs. Super unique. Oh man. Oh yeah. 
Oh man. So delicious, caramelized. With that sauce, it's almost like candy. I know I got gloves on, but... Thank you. All right, everybody. We are done. Woo. About 20 minutes. I gotta say, what a variety of flavor. What a freaking ride, guys. That was so, so, so good. So enjoyable. I would say like, the craziest thing, <laughs> excuse me, is you can like tell the way they cooked a lot of these items, like the cooking method, just added to such a dynamic. Like, as an example, where the ribs were cooked and then like finished on that grill, that oak, like the live oak with the live oak grill. You tasted it and in such a nice complimentary way. So, you have this lovely smoke, lovely tender rib, but then you almost have this bite of that like back, you know, that fire, that fire cooked back out, back home cookout barbecue kind of grill. It's really great. The burn ends were delicious. Again, super, like, so when I say super smoky, not like a Texas level of smoke, but a really nice level of smoke. I mean, it's the smoke mainly with hickory, so that if that kind of gives you a perspective. But compared to everything else, definitely the smokiest uh, and the ribs. The ribs are very smoky, but I love that. I love that flavor. Pulled pork was really nice. A little bit of addition to that sauce was fantastic. They you know, make all the sauce award-winning sauces. Sauce was really nice too. Shout out that cucumber salad. That was 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, guys, so that was awesome. Great, great, great meal. Uh, no complaints at that. Beautiful challenge. Glad we got to get one in in Kansas City. And uh, at such a legendary place at that. So uh, that everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, till next time, say happy, the hungry, happy eating. Check out joelies.com, grab yourself some merch. And uh, let me know your favorite barbecue down below. My favorite item today, hmm. honestly, well, it, it, I'm gonna go with the burn ends or the ribs, which is like Kansas City classic. That's what it's known for. And it was really, really good. So I appreciate you guys. Definitely no shortage of food. Move this great big platter out of the way. And that everyone, till next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.